everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. We're back. We're live here with more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today, uh, we have already finished the main storyline, so there's some side stuff uh, coming up here. Some legendaries, and of course, we have to complete the Pokedex here. Um, so we'll be working on that for the rest of this week. And then after that, I don't know what we'll work on. Um, I've been considering um, doing Elden Ring because that is real popping right now. Of course, I would be getting to it a little late, but you know what? Whatever. I, I got a feeling that game's going to be popular for a while. So maybe I'll give that a chance and uh, commit myself to the torture that is one of those games. So, oh man. I seem to be missing my device. That's all right. Um, so yeah, if it's your first time watching uh, and you're here on Facebook, even after the stream, please feel free to drop a follow. It helps out. It goes a long way. We're only, I believe, what, four away from our goal. I think it's going to say five, but we gained two people over the weekend. We must have lost somebody or something. I don't know. So we're four away. So please follow. Help us out. Uh, if you're over there on YouTube, uh, please subscribe. We don't really have much of a subscriber goal or anything over there on YouTube, but we don't really have a lot of subscribers yet. I do see a bunch of you guys are watching um, every single day and every episode, so uh, thank you. Appreciate you guys. Drop a like while you're there, and uh, maybe a nice comment. So going along with that, no pain, no gain. Uh, thank you for following. That should be our friend Michael Payne. I know because we were talking about what would be a good uh, name for his channel, so... Thank you very much, Michael. And Austin Wheels Bodzenta. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you guys. Let's get to it. All right, so we're here. I don't know what I did last. It's been a little bit. <clears throat> we caught Shaman. Ah, oh, yes, we need to go check out what's over here, which is a main quest. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Chamber Claw Cliffs. I don't know where that... Or Clamber Claw Cliffs. Not sure where that is. Okay, report back to Silene, so that's back at the village. So, we don't really need to get these things, other than just being nice. So we're just going to leave those. And I'm pretty sure those are the same bags that have been here since... start of the weekend so oh hello charm I do find it funny that these I as far as I know they are just randomly around the maps and you can run into them and fight them anytime but they're kind of rare because there's what five maps they could be on oh shaman was a lucky Toss out. Whoa, he's really pushing up on me. Don't like that. Gotta give me my space, bro. I have, like, a hell of a migraine. Between the back of my head all the way through my neck. <clears throat> so, we'll see how today's stream goes. Just to preface that, in case that starts killing me later, I might not do as long of a stream. Should we give somebody else a chance out here? I mean, Spirit Bomb, Spirit Tomb. I don't know. I can keep calling him Spirit Bomb. Um, should just rename him that. Definitely want some. I'm gonna do a rare thing here and drink some Coca Cola. There's caffeine in it. I'm wondering if that might help cure this uh, borderline migraine popping in. Cheers. Anything to uh, help out? Also, Spear Tomb hit level 69. Hilarious. We'll do a mix of cheers here. We'll do tea and Coke. <laughs> Interesting combination. Four nuggets. 
Also, Manaphy. Just learned a new move. Hydro Pump? Pfft, yeah. I mean... <clears throat> all these guys, all my mons, are basically one and dones. They should just hit and kill, but... Whoa, ho, ho. You both want to take me on, let's go. I love how like cute and cuddly Manaphy is. While at the same time being a legendary that can absolutely whip ass. Oh, hella dangerous. You need to make sure we have peak accuracy so as not to die. So we'll moon blast from the past. And what's Burmy gonna do, you know? Nothing. Get stomped. Alright, but maybe we'll stop using it. The grueling grove. What will we find? Nobody knows. Oh, no super mega cross? Uh, hair across? Is it mega cross one? Sounds like it. Like an evolution in one of the other games that doesn't exist in this one? Like, this doesn't have all the evolutions, like, uh, Mr. Mimes. It's the first time I've seen it's got like a little... I don't know what you call that stinger bulbous little area in the middle of its combs at the bottom. I was shaking. Kind of weird. Nope. Nope, I tried. Can't waste any more uh, Ultra Balls here, so I guess he's going to have to die. Give him the old Roar of Time. What are you doing attacking the Brachiosaurus of time? Even the Great Meteor couldn't kill this thing. What makes you think you, a giant bee, have a chance? Am I right? Come out right. Now here across the seat. Um I still gotta catch shield down.
He's about to turn around. No. All right, we've got him all uh, drunk now that we've hit him in the back of the head. Might as well just give him that old Roar of Time move. Whoa. Got two moves in? This is horse crap. Oh, no. That wasn't supposed to happen. We got him. Yippee ki yay. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Don't like that. Most illuminating. So he's at eight. Probably an agile iron tail and a regular iron tail would be about it. It wouldn't take much with either one of them to finish uh, their indexes here. Um. So while we're back here, you might as well talk to this person, Silene. See what's hippity hop happening. Hello. Cheers. Oh. Munch, munch, munch. A massive mass outbreak? The naming wasn't good, but I don't know if they did that on purpose. Because it's just kind of comical or what? Okay, so there's a new request here. We'll see to that first. Hey, Michael, what's going on? How are you doing? Good to see you in here. Thank you. Uh, thank you earlier on the stream. Thank you again. Thank you very much for the like, first of all. Secondly, thanks for uh, following with no pain, no game. As soon as I saw that pop up, it popped up as soon as I opened my streaming app here. Uh, before I went live, I was like, oh, I know who that is. <laughs> Since we literally came up with that name together. Cheers. Well, I think you thought of it, but I won't take any credit. But I did agree that it would be a great name. Let's go and check out these massive mass outbreaks. I'm still shaking my head at the name. I also gotta say I like the the noise Munchlass makes as he walks. Boom, 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 boom. Well, how was your weekend, Michael? Tell me you didn't work the whole time. I'm guessing from the hours you put in, you probably worked at least a couple days. Come on. Oh yeah, convenient. I forgot about the cell phone that only I have 
with a map on it. Holy shit. Okay, that's a lot. We'll start with this one and go kind of cycle around, perhaps. That's the path I'm deciding on here. Not like it really matters because we can fly, but... Okay, so you got to be quick. So if you don't like what's there, maybe just move right on because I can just dissipate. And a new outbreak can pop up right after you clear one outbreak. Interesting. Just scene three. Three day long weekend, so it didn't work, and I have to finish. Um, and then I have Friday off this week and next week. Oh, nice! You got plans? Is that why you got off, or uh, just because taking a break? Okay, there's the parrots. I'm only going to the outbreak if I see something I want to shiny of. What are they, cricket tots? Is that it? Ooh. Really need a good break? Yeah, I hear you. Everybody does before you get burnout. Alright, I will try to do these mini mimes. Uncanny Luck, what's up? What's happening? I'm stuck. I'm suddenly unstuck. Cheers. Thank you for the like. How are you doing, buddy? Delicious. Oh my god, don't run so fast. How am I supposed to catch you? Whoa, mimes can show up too? Not just juniors? Whoa. Yeah, we're ready to pull a house of a thousand corpses here. Oh boy. <laughs> Cullum Weir? Hello, Cullum. Good to have you in here. Buddy of yours, Michael? So that's wild. I don't think he even shared. Uh oh. Ah, I'm gonna get you. What's he gonna do about it, you know? Oh my god. Speedy Torpedy. Oh, do you see that speed he's got? Friend went to high school together? Nice. Oh, God, they came right back. And they're all alphas. Whoa. What in the snickerdoodle? 
Uh, one of my buddies from high school shows up every once in a while for this game. Holy cannoli. Well, if you're still in here, you see him come back. Tell him thanks. Thanks for watching. Always good to have friends of Michael's in here. Past three of these, you have to 100% catch or defeat. Similar to what I did on the first one. Can't just look at them like I did on a couple. Well, I'll come back to any that... You know, if I'm getting nowhere, I'll come back. But for now, I figure I might as well just find three I like. I've already got shiny of these guys. Michael, are you still on uh, Cobalt? Or have you gotten much further past that yet? Kayla, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. Or has your uh, shiny hunting been going well? I have some people complaining about it because they haven't been able to move on. Oh, that makes sense. There's a little specifics to it. Still first area? Well, that's alright. Feels good to get those shinies. <gasps> Sam, thank you for the like. Appreciate you. Got you well, buggers. Got him. Ooh, and the shares. And Marcus with the shares. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, guys. Heather, how are you doing? Good to see you. Michael, no new shinies and haven't been able to play as much as I wanted. Yeah, it seemed like you were getting a lot of hours in early and probably been just swamped with work lately to do it. Um, get too much more in. It sounds like you might have some time coming up here. Heather, getting new shinies yourself? These guys are really running away from me, huh? Oh. Come back. This guy. You got three new ones? Nice. What'd you get? Marcus? Good day, bro. Happy streaming. Appreciate you, man. Hope you have a good day yourself. Thanks for stopping in. Alright. There's got to be more of these chimchars, right? This is a small outbreak compared to the uh, Mime Juniors. Oh, there we got one. No shiny ones, though. I'm kind of sad about that. Maybe like an alpha shiny will show up. Ah. Oh, they're gone? Huh. I guess they didn't really turn into what I thought.
You know, ever since I saw that uh, blue side duck, I just really wanted it, but I have not been lucky enough to find one. Michael, you want to trade me one? I'll trade you a shiny Luxray. It's a good deal, I swear. Ponyta. I'll take that elephant, and that's about it. Only got the one. That's all right. You don't want him, do you? Yeah, probably. I mean, he's a good... That's a good-looking one. Whoa. Hello, where can I stock these guys from? Um... Uh oh, it wasn't me. And I've triggered everybody. All right, we can go, but let's make this fair. Let's not do a three on one, please. Uh oh. All right, it's just one. It's all good. I had to see if that guy got caught first. Oh, come on. Iron Tail kind of sucks. Like a pretty good move, but I feel like it misses the first try every time without fail. I'm only doing it for uh, Pokédex purposes. be in real pains in the back side to catch. Okay, so he's done just Shaman and Shield on, which I don't even have Shield on. Alright, so the monkey asked for it. I didn't want to do this, but here we are. I love... I love when the beam from the move is so strong that you can't even see the thing you're attacking. Absolutely roasting him. Or cooling him off, I don't know. Thank you, come again. Alright. Let's see, can we get this big guy? And of course, Pikachu down there. Gotta get him. fight, but you gotta fight, uh, I don't know, my friend here, the god of space. Your choice. It's like you lose. Some ass outbreaks over. So 
now what we got to wait for a new one? Heather, you got three new ones? I know. I saw that the first time. Did I ask? I thought I asked. What'd you get? Maybe I thought it in my head. Michael played a bit of Shiny and Pearl on the weekend because you want to get Shaman. I think that's how it's spelled. Shaman? I know what you meant. Shay, S-H-A-Y-M-I-N. Shay like the butter? I'm probably, it's probably not correct. And Min like Minute. I don't know. Yeah, I think I saw a little clip that that's where he was from. Uh, or it was like um, a picture in an article online. Must have heard me talking about Shaman a bunch. And uh, they threw it up for me. Santler, Drifloon, and Happiny. Happiny, that's a good one. Drifloon, I found a couple of those. I feel like just because they're everywhere. This might be one of the easier ones. Stantler still seems like that'd be a pretty hard one to find. What's that one look like? Is it uh, just like slightly different antlers, like gold antlers? Oh, I had to report back. Let's do the Clamber Claw Cliffs. Green. Ooh. Nice. I like that. I wonder what Weird Year looks like. It's kind of a pain to get, but he's not as bad as some of the ones where you got to use a move a ridiculous amount of times. Well, let's check on this new request first. Hello, sir. Oh, no. The balloon guy. Look, I've already got a hella bad headache. Why not just uh, make it worse by doing the balloon challenge? A minute 50? Oh. All right, buckle up, everybody. I'll just have to remember that that happens. What? No, I'm too low. Oh, no. All right, we're just going to run it. Just to get an idea of the course. This is some absurdity. What, uh, Heather, what color is... I feel nothing but angry. What color is happening now? Oh my god. It's these camera angles. So this has some tricks it's going to throw at you, but I feel like overall it's not too bad. just a little pinker oh, okay oh no and I've missed them all so I missed 14 first run not terrible it's gonna take me like three or four runs probably but we'll get it I think from memory it's a green color like Chansey oh maybe so maybe it's just a little pinker at happening, and then it gets uh, a big color change as it gets uh, leveling up. I'd like that if it was green. The, the bigger 
the change of color, the better. Not this time. I'm glad that didn't knock me straight off because a lot of times those things do. Banana bread pie. Well, just keep keep getting better at the rest of the course. Even Noper. Forgot about that. Double mess up. Oh. Oh. This is not going well. It was going to take a few rounds, especially after the one in the Icelands. Man, that one is such a pain. I feel like this will be easier than that one, though. Just need 11,100 for the next rank. Nice, nice. It does feel good when it's done, but I think I liked it a little more when I wasn't done with the total rankings. I like having extra things to work for, especially while I'm still working on... Um, Pokédex and everything else, but I don't know. Oh. Michael, you gotta be pretty close to done with your rankings already. You're still in the first area. This was it too. Ah, shenanigans. Damn, I was close. Damn. Happy rebuild, bears. Thank you. We got a new defensive tackle. He's pretty good. We got rid of Khalil Mack. I said we should have done that last year. <clears throat> we need to start that rebuild last year, but uh, we kept on the same head coach and GM for one year, even though we knew that it was going to be the same result. Like fools. We just delayed the inevitable and further slowed down that rebuild. 
I thought I saw Miami got somebody new. Allen Robinson? Yeah. Oh, son of a... He's out, but... That's alright. There'll be somebody new. I'm hoping... After the Khalil Mack trade... Right, we traded two seconds. Maybe we can trade... Both those seconds to move up if uh, Olave falls down the draft further enough, for far enough, and we can get son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. Um, match him with Fields again. Get that Chase Burrow connection type of deal going on. Uh, I did not press enough. I am screwing up like crazy here. So, it's unfortunate. Oh, I do remember what I saw. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is backing up to a... You think they're going to go back and forth starting? There'll be some Teddy Bridgewater starts? Dang. This is not a good run. This is a terrible run. Didn't see that? Nice. Yeah, it's exciting. What'd you think about Russell Wilson? Getting traded. Four more years of Aaron Rodgers? That sucks. Don't like that. What I do like is seeing them have no cap space. And having to pay $30 million for Devontae Adams for him to not play. That's exciting. When did you get a switch? Uh, let's see. December, no, November, son of a, yeah, yeah, we're restarting. December 2020, no. Black Friday to Cyber Monday, somewhere in there, 2020. I was trying to get the Mario Kart bundle, which was like, 250 if you got it through who was it all Amazon and Walmart sold out everywhere before I had a chance except at GameStop where it was like 280 and I think you got like a $30 GameStop credit instead So really that just meant spending more money. Which was fine because then I got... What? Oh wait, no. You didn't even get Mario Kart. It was like two eighty and a $30 credit at GameStop. So I got Mario Kart for like 30 bucks. It was a completely trash deal compared to everyone else's deal. But hey, that's GameStop, right? I'll only stop talking crap about them when they pay me. And even then, I won't let them pay me. can't sway my name with GameStop. I feel bad I'm even saying that this is where I got it from. Uh, and then I bought Let's Go Pikachu at the same time, which was the main reason I got it. Mario Kart was just like a fun bonus. Like, hey, if people come over, we can play Mario Kart. Like, I have never played it on my own, which is why I'm still terrible at it. And when people come over to play Mario Kart, uh, I lose. I lose every time. And it's actually super annoying. So I could get better. I just don't. Didn't know I had one. I, this is the first time I've streamed using it. Normally, like, I had Pokemon Sword before. Um, you know, Let's Go Pikachu. Let's Go Eevee. I got played a little bit. Um, a few other games on here. And mostly they were just like... Some fun side things to play on the weekend. Didn't need to feel any pressure streaming it. Or waiting. That little guy got in the way. Did you see that little guy? Ugh. A little what's his name. And this game was so fun. I didn't want to wait weekend to weekend to play it. 
So I was like, well, shit. Either playing it on the weekends or playing it during the week on the stream. I get more time to game during the week on the stream. So, it became a stream game. Got Mario Golf and it's really fun. I love Mario Golf. I did get that one as well. I thought I remembered, like... That being on N64 or something a long time ago, but I never had it. I would definitely recommend Mario Golf to anybody as a fun party game. I got my first hole-in-one on New Donk City. Hilarious name, by the way. While on an airplane with turbulence, I felt very uh, god-tier at that moment. You know, it was Pierlock, for sure. Although, I will recommend to anybody using Bowser Jr. If you were going to, he has by far the best power up in the game. Oh my god. Another series of mess ups. That's frustrating. Stupid Braviary. Honestly, I wish it wasn't just like left rights on the D pad to get these guys to come up. You could just assign D pad buttons up, down, left, right. And sneezers only when you're on a mountain and you press A. Or, uh, whatever, Legion. Only when you're in the water. I used to play it on N64 all the time with my brother. Oh, nice. What do you think about the new Pokemon games Scarlet and Violet come out? Oh, man. So what happens when I try to do too many things at once. Um... I'm very excited. Very excited for Scarlet and Violet. I don't know which one I want more. I feel like I always go with the cool color game. Sword was blue. I think my first game was red. That doesn't really hold up. I had gold. It's not really the cool color. I went sapphire. Oh. These are just failures after failures. Cheers, by the way. So I'm going to make up my mind based on the cover art of which one I'm going to get. But I am going to get one of them um, when they release. No point in waiting. They do not come down in price. So... Um, I think I like, I mean, I like them all. I find that it's really hard for me not to pick the fire type to start. And a fire alligator just looks interesting. But so does a grass cat. The only one that doesn't seem interesting to me is a water penguin again. I think it's a penguin, isn't it? My god. Were you going down like that? You, you can't see any angles, so you don't know. But, yeah, whatever. Pitsy, if you're still here, buddy, um, you want to drop a like before you leave? Please do. But, um, you might get both. Personally, I mean, the games are so close. I don't see much of a reason to get in both. And I don't have two switches, so I can't exactly trade with myself. I still need a trade partner. So, in order to get them all on one game, I think I just need to stream it. I have one of you guys do some trades with me. I help you, you help me. 
So I'm undecided. Um, I'm leaning towards I'm going to probably get Violet. But that could change. Oh my god. Those precious seconds, I need them to not screw this up. Which starter, Heather, would you say is the one you're going to go with? Honestly, if I knew what their final forms looked like, that has a big impact, too. I don't think I take, took the time to look up the final forms in Sword. I just kind of went with uh, who I went with, which I did restart. I started and I was uh, I got Grookey, the monkey, the grass monkey, the first time. And then I switched to... I can't even think of what it was. The fire type. I cannot picture the fire type or any of its forms in my head at all. If I remember right, the water one was like a slender lizard with like water gun fingers. I didn't get one until somebody traded me a baby version later. Because I did those like surprise trades or whatever all the time. Like I was just constantly running those to see what I would get. And people would give. Honestly, good things all the time. You got a lot of crap, but score bunny, that's it. All right, well. The moment I flew up a Braviary, that was over. Remember when I said this was going to take three to five times? Yeah. That didn't turn out to be true. Yeah, score bunny. And then it would, when it got older, it was like the soccer player or whatever that <laughs> would kick around a rock into a soccer fireball and launch that. I did like that one a lot, actually. It seems silly, but... I was a fan. I just really liked uh, how Sword played. I think I like this a little bit more where you can catch him without having to engage. I think that as like a higher level of realism, not that there's, you know, a fictional monster universe has any realism but like you know in the show they didn't necessarily always capture things sometimes you just chuck a ball at them sometimes it works you're like well why can't I do that when I'm playing these games so I kind of really like that aspect of it Reboot and then Cinderace. Yeah, Cinderace. That's right. I remember. I remember seeing people somehow getting shiny versions of those. I'm like, the amount of time you must take reading to get that is insane. Do you know, isn't it something like if you have a shiny and you breed it? The chances of the um, baby one coming out to be shiny is pretty high. Oh! That little screw up over the hill right before you have to use. Ech. Now, the first generation, love them all. You know, probably Charmander, Charizard, probably the best. Squirtle's obviously badass. Bulbasaur is the first one I ever picked. Uh, third generation is one of the only ones where the water was my favorite, Mudkip. Mudkip was also super OP, being a ground water type. 
I mean, it was just insane. Mudkip might be one of my favorite starters that's not original. Otherwise, I'd pick all three originals before anything else. God, for shame. For shame. Should be three lashings per failure. Then I'd get it right. But let's not do that. Instead, I'll just do a cheers. Cheers. But I never got them all in sword. I have like two or three I never got. I never got the sword version of the apple dragon. Whatever the land one was, the four-legged one. And the legendary shield guy. Ooh, Oscar, what's happening, buddy? Thank you for the shares. Good to see you. I was just thinking about you and Pitsy today. Remembering some of the good old times. What a weird coincidence that you guys happen to pop up. It seems to happen to me a lot. Does that ever happen to anybody else? You're like telling a story about somebody, you're thinking about them, and then they just randomly pop up that day. Is that just me? What do they call that? It's not like... It's like some weird off-brand deja vu, except for it actually happens. Anyway, good to see you. What's up? What's happening? What's new? You and Pitsy hanging out? Because if not, then it's even weirder that you both showed up. No, you've got to be joking. God, even worse. I can't believe I just screwed that up. Thinking about me? <laughs> no, I'm not hanging out. You guys aren't even gaming or anything? Well, of course. I was thinking about Apex in the old days. Think about Apex every once in a while. I haven't touched it in a long time, though, so I think if I played it, I would get my ass kicked. Or maybe my MMR, if that game uses it or whatever, would be so low. My ranking would be so low that I think I would be able to come back and get some wins right away if I went right into bronze ranked. Maybe. I don't know who else is lurking in bronze ranked, though. Nope, I am. Just on Apex. And that is hilarious, hilarious coincidence. I'll take a drink to that. You still doing ranked on Apex? Ugh. I'm gonna be here all night. Doing arenas? You doing regular? I'm gonna live through you in this conversation on Apex. Rank every once in a while. Oh. Well, it's not summer, so I thought maybe you'd be a uh, predator right now. Since you don't have to go camping. Regular, regular. Nice, nice. Using the new character, using Maggie. I heard she wasn't that great and that not a lot of people were using her. It was like that, oh my god. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hear it was like the honeymooner phase of any new character. Everyone's using her for like a week, maybe two, and then nobody's using her. I had to get another smurf because Pitsy can't keep up. 
Nice. Watson. Whoa. What, did Watson get a buff? What happened? I've heard uh, a lot of people are playing Caustic again. It's one of my last favorite, favorite really good seasons was uh, before they nerfed Caustic the first time and then seven more times right after that. I'll say he's been rather unfairly nerfed. Really? Little guy? Little garble munch guy? Fucking yells and it knocks me off. When Weird Deer was flashing red, I couldn't pull out Braviary and fly into the air. He fucked me. After this balloon race is over, if I remember, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to knock him out. So how many Smurfs is that for you now? And what's this one called? Do you have a, does it have a good name? I think the best part about creating a Smurf is creating the name. You see the funniest things. I think my favorite is when people openly admit with the name that it's a Smurf. This is a Smurf account, Got the shaft in every sense of the word there. One wrong move. One wrong move and it's over. Sorry, I missed all that. Ran into a gunfight. Did you wait for your team at least? Ah, you probably didn't need them, right? I was asking what was your Smurf's name. Half the fun of creating a Smurf is creating a fun name. What's that loud ding for? I notice it happens on 15 and 25. Cheers. Team player and flying burrito. So you're just another version of flying burrito? You have two flying burritos now? That was your first smurf. Flying Burrito 69 and Flying Burrito 69, 69. Alright, this is the one. I can feel it. This race is the race.
This is driving me bonkers. Absolutely bonkers, mate. Cheers. I'm really going to spend an hour on this. Third is Animal Bucket. Animal Bucket? Did you name yourself? Or did Xbox give you the name Animal Bucket? Because I'll tell you what. Xbox comes up with some winners, but... <laughs> Animal Bucket seems interesting. Let's go Team Animal Bucket. Xbox gave me that. Nice. You can change it once for free. Oh my god. I was going to be too low for the first one, so I had to pull off for a second. And by pulling off for purely a second, I was too high for the second one. I don't know why this is suddenly becoming my weak point the second dive I feel like Xbox uses the same like password generator as Charter's passwords. Or oh, like Scarlet Spider 069 Tangy Zebra 428 There was a time I didn't have to jump and hit that. I generally jump and hit that one. I have ran straight through it. Oh, did I just barely miss it? I guess so. But I swore I, I swore I went antlers in. I'm gonna break a controller if I have to keep doing this. I mean, at least I'm collecting a bunch of good stuff. Do this over and over again. Sticky globs, stardust, ultra balls.
and I've done fucked up. I just screwed up for maybe a second and a half, which isn't really enough time to get through those last five. What are you doing this game? You uh, hunt down Pokemon, you catch them, you do a bunch of different quests, you fight with Pokemans. Make them uh, kick each other's butts. Hunt special ones called shinies. They're just different colors. But super rare. Um, those are overarching storyline. Actually, a pretty in-depth storyline for a Pokemon game. With all these alphas that are gigantic. That are rampaging. You gotta beat the crap out of them. To uh, calm them down. And then space and time are collapsing all at the same time, which is like a pretty, pretty intense storyline for Pokemans. It's, uh, it's pretty addicting though, especially like, I don't know if you were ever into Pokemon games. It's addicting. Um, so it's got like a nostalgia kick for me. I'm, I guess you've only watched me sit here and pop balloons in this course. Um, this is such a small part of the game that I just happen to be stuck on and I don't even have to do this. I just want to 100% it. It's really, uh, yeah, try not to get attacked, because it's like the first game where you as the person can really get attacked. Yeah, just end it. Forget those 63 seconds. Ay ay ay. I'm so close to doing it is the problem. And pop balloons. This is like 0.2% of the game, maybe, is popping these damn balloons. And it's only taken a while because I'm terrible at this stuff. I'm sure there's other people that crack this instantly, but not me. It's because these damn hands. I'll tell you, it's not easy doing this with, like, the claw hand, too, so you can change the cameras and press jump and run at the same time. So you've got to, you know, work out the old claw technique. I don't feel like it's a very good technique. That's what you got to do. a screw up can't have that it's probably the most minor screw up I could get away with or the worst screw up I should say I could get away with it was so minor there's probably a lot of people who wouldn't even see it I'm going to drown. I'm going right into the base of this waterfall. Take me with you, waterfall. 
Wash me away. I hate everything about these balloon races. There's nothing that makes me more angry in this world than this man's damn balloon races. Who put this together? Who at Nintendo said, I've got an idea. Let's make them do a balloon race where if they're off by half a second, make one mistake, we punish them by making them fail and have to try again. Naturally, I don't have to do this, but uh, come on. Of course, I'm going to do it. Good luck. Five squads left. Got to focus. All right, all right. You report back. You got to let me know if that turns into a dub or not. Back buttons are so I can... I know, I was thinking about that too, Michael, how I could use the back buttons. My hands are already stupid. You know, the old these damn hands thing. Like, if I could battle the robot devil in a violin match and win, get his hands, I would do that. A little Futurawa reference there for you. Um, but no, I'm stuck with these clumsy-ass things. So... I just have to keep losing. And if I try to use my back buttons here, I most certainly will do worse. That'll be at least another 15 tries to uh, get that straight. So I'm going to have to deal with the claw technique until then. Honestly, I could never get used to the back buttons. I had the back pedals on a Xbox Elite controller. And I promise you, I lost at games way more. Because I got it when I was playing Apex. Like what Oscar is doing right now. And it definitely got me more killed than anything. And I used it for weeks. Weeks. But I couldn't retrain my hands after years <laughs> of using those... Uh, controllers with just the front paddles front paddles no paddles paddleless i can't train myself out of the claw wow that was somewhere between lucky and clutch What what could I have done differently to get that extra quarter second I needed? It was right there. It was right in front of me. It was perfect. It was a perfect round. Whoever came up with this shit one evil, evil son of a bitch. Maybe it's impossible. What if you made it so no matter what, no matter how perfectly you did the run, you would always be one second short. Just as like a troll...
And then that happens. Ah, say you're back. Oh, I know, Michael. It is, it is. It is on B. But there's no changing. There's no using those. The claw technique is the only way. I can't use those buttons. I physically do not have the hand skills. This might be the whole episode at this rate. I don't know. If it is, I'm going to karate chop this desk in half. All right. Here's what's going to happen. That Luxio has been in the way. No prize for me? Oh, I get a prize. I am getting a prize you don't even know. Here's my prize. I get the absolute pleasure of taking this Luxray's life. Full on power style, strong style, I don't care. Make him dead. Snip, snip, snap, snap, let's go. Whoa, what do you mean he's still alive? How are you alive? Alright. Problem taken care of. Get off my racetrack. Same for you. Come back! I wanna fight! Rotom, you've gotten in my way. Sorry, not sorry, you gotta die. Cleaning the course the old fashioned way. Now that we've gotten some uh, ah, stress off, cleared the course a little bit, it should go much better. Not having to go around a giant Alpha Luxray, huge. That Luxio is asking for it though. I spared his life and I'm kind of regretting it. Did you see him talking that shit as I went by? Pay to see me karate chop my desk in half. You can do that, I'll crowd you, my champ. Oh, thanks. If you pay me enough for new everything on this desk, I'll do it.
I would like to rage super hard right now. I've never been a destructive rager. Even as a little kid, figuring out my emotions, I always figured it's best not to destroy my controller, because what am I going to do without my controller? Probably be happier. But, uh, you know, why take the risk? Maybe I wouldn't be. Ah! Fourteen seconds. I'm no faster than the time I missed by one balloon. <sighs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> I can't even articulate how frustrating it is to get that close. It was even a couple seconds left. Milliseconds, but seconds nonetheless. And just have the dive bomb be off. Like you don't you don't control the angle of your dive bomb at all, so it's just about the exact moment of when you do it. Which is such a hard thing to perfectly get on those balloons. What I had at that one time where it ended before I could hit the last balloon. That was almost bad. What was that second jump? I'm looking right at the damn, looking at the balloon, and he goes. You fucking dumb fish. I'm gonna cook that fish for supper. I'm honestly super close to quitting. I don't want to ever do this again, so let's like get it done now, you know? This is gonna be worth it when I get these three nuggets at the end. Hour and a half of pain. You know what they say? No pain, no game. Also, when you're just hovering, you don't really have a lot of left-right control. As you've seen, I've missed a few before. But when you uh, are gliding at a high speed, you have a lot more left-right control. Kind of irritating that you have so much less when you're kind of free-floating. Also irritating that you only get like marginally better every time you do this. First time it was like what, 54 balloons, 56 balloons. But 
that's all right. I'll try this like three more times. And then it's going to be a rage quit. I don't think my heart can go on. Levan, thank you very much for the like. Cheers in just a second. How are you doing? Oh, and Mike showing up. Dropping 145 stars. My man. How are you? I'll definitely cheers you as well in just a second. Got some stars encouragement now. Ho-ho-ho-ho! Been busy? Oh, thank you for the like as well. You working right now still? Yeah, pool league tonight? I didn't, I didn't, I did not press that combination, son of a butt nugget. God damn. Just got home? Oh, nice. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Appreciate you, everybody. Thank you again, Mike. Um... I seem the sugar rush from that soda being chugged down. That's that's gonna be what I need. So I've been busy over the whole weekend, or just on the day. I'm trying to think, you're East Coast, right? So just getting home at what eight forty. Everything about this game I hate. I was endorsing this, and then now I this one balloon part aspect of the game made me hate the whole thing. Do not buy Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, you're better off without it. Your sanity, your mental health, your zen, your chi, your whatever. All better. All better if you just never touch this absolute horror of a game. People talk about Elden Ring lately. You know, everyone's like, oh man, hardest game ever. It's so crazy. Um... <laughs> no, they haven't played Pokemon Legends Arceus Balloon Racing. It's like, what are they doing? Alexis, thank you very much for the like. How are you doing as well? Oh, it's a fun kids game. Oh, ha, ha there's balloons. You gotta pop them all in a little race. Using your cute little Pokemans. Except for no one told you it's going to make you rip your hair out. <laughs> the madness behind this. You got over 196 now? Woo! That's a whole big load of them, my man. I got uh, pain and suffering. Is my main um, delight of the night. I think I got up to 226. Let me see. 226 registered. Not bad. Mike, every day, man, every day. Well, 
Guess that's farm life, though, isn't it? Kind of sucks. Like, um, my family is on my mom's side, anyway. The family line is farmers. Grandparents are farmers. Got some other farmers in the family. So I've seen what it's like. And yeah, it's every day, seven days a week. Vacation is when you have somebody to fill in that amount of time for you, which is rare. Sleep is naps throughout the day and a little bit at night. I don't know how people do it, to be honest. There's definitely some perks, but the amount of work time just makes that uh, insane. That's right. You enjoy it, don't you, Mike? Oh! How do you up to 234? Sheesh! I think if I remember right, there's only 244 in the game, so you're close. The one thing I really enjoy about this game, uh, and it's not the balloon racing, is uh, the fact that there isn't a sister game. Then you don't have to trade with anybody. I might cry. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Alex, you're definitely fine tonight. Nice. Yeah, I'm... I was doing quite terrible until just that round. 30 nuggets? Wow. At least the payoff was insane in my membrane. Holy biscuits, butter and gravy. How much money do I have now? Keep a few. Oh, almost up to a million. Ah, that feels good. That feels good. This has definitely been a trial to get through that. I never want to do a balloon race again until the end of my days. Till the end. Do not care. Please, for the love of everything holy, no more balloon races. And I also want to get a shield done out of this. I've got certain demands now, Nintendo. Hello. 
better come back at night. All right. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. The balloon race had me a little frustrated. <laughs> Where I wanted to get upset there. Not going to lie. I will never balloon race again. I'm retiring as the 30 Nugget champion. Although, I got to say, I'm a little bit curious. Like, if I kept doing it over and over successfully, would I get 30 Nuggets at a time? Or is that it? Like, one time and you're spent. Why does he seem so happy to see me? Uh. doesn't know where I'm at. Hey, hey. Hold the phone. I'll be right back in one minute here. All right, all right, all right. I'm back. Got Dark Ray. We finished the balloons. I'll put um, Spirit Tomb away and try out this Dark Ray. Well, I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Okay, it's too much of everybody here. Let's start with that. What are they, normal ghosts? Well, we'll just take them both. Oops. Drop them in here. Got some guys that don't belong.
Dark Ray way out of his element here. Alright, took him out, put Spirit Doom with the other legends. Alright, the Chimchar's all pretty low. Along with Monferno's 35. Got two twelves. Oops. Forty seven and a sixty five there. Oh, and you're better. <laughs> Looks like everything I'm catching from these mass mass outbreaks or massive mass outbreaks is just better than what I have. Which I guess I'll take that, you know? Why not? Oh, and these guys. Almost forgot about Pony Ta. Alright. It's our best of the best here. We got a 61 and a 62. Seventy six. Seventy-seven. So where's the highest regular non-alpha? Sixty-two. Whoops. So this might replace our whole collection of mimes right here. Bye, everybody. All right. So let's see, what can Dark Ray do? Fair sneak, blah 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 blah. So this is better. Dark Void. The target is dragged into a world of total darkness that makes the target drowsy and lowers its defensive stat. Nice. That actually seems really good. Let's see what uh, it needs to do for the Pokedex. Shadow Ball and Dark Void. There we go. All right, so will there no longer be time distortions? Asking for a friend. Because I feel like I should have had one by now. He is not looking good after that. That move is pretty, pretty uh, sick. Not too shabby.
They're really taking it to me. They just got two moves each. And I am definitely stronger than them. I should have done Agile style. I'm a fool. No, he's going to get another two hits on me. He's going to kill me. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. I thought he might have had a chance. Let's just keep him in the fight. Ouch. Didn't know finding a black augurite would be so hard. I have sold a bunch because I had like 19. I haven't been able to stop finding them. But at the same time, the um, Sneasel item, I don't think it's Razor Claw because um, I thought that's the other one. Maybe it is. There's like a Razor Claw, maybe like a Razor Tooth or something like that. Whatever the Sneasel item is. I found one and haven't been able to find one since. And Mike was saying he has a whole huge stack of them. So it's funny how it's kind of different for everybody and what items you find a lot of. Uh, two, four, six, eight. One more dark, dark Void. And he is done. So... Eh, maybe not worth spending an item on. When the camp is right here. Let's see how many black augurites I have. After a word from our sponsors. I got 11, and I've definitely sold at least 11. And I've only used two. Which I only used the second one because... Um, oh, he was in here last week. I think that was the first time he was in here. I don't see him back in tonight. Uh, was it Andrew? I believe his name was. Let's see. I can probably find out. Adam. Adam Duncan. He was in here and he traded me a shiny alpha. Um, Scyther. So I had to go one way or the other and I already had a shiny uh, Scizor. So I had to go with the other guy. So you want to involve my Scyther? Have you not been able to get... You haven't had a cleaver at all yet? You haven't found one? They're all over on the rocks. Like, I got them because I don't do it as much anymore, but, like, every rock I saw, I mined. Just constantly. I might have enough to finish my bag. I know I don't have enough. I believe Mike looked it up for us and he uh, discovered the final space in the bag costs a million. So it's almost two million. Pretty much you got to put into it. I don't need to do that. Missing a whole bunch of quests in here. This is an 89, 90, 91, 97, 98, 99, 100, 100, 1, 1, 2. Huh. I'll just keep completing what I have and we'll see what happens. Nope, you haven't found one at all. Rough. I think there's some Pokemon that'll drop them, but also just. I've gotten tons from, I, I think specifically, the Iron Ores. Oh, 
Oh, you're welcome. I'm surprised you don't get one from any quests. You must not be able to get them from uh, collecting people's bags either. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no. This lady, I think, what is she, 99? Holy emails. Hold on, just give me a second here. Got a bunch of stuff going on, I guess. You know, I, I was looking at um, Pokemon packs on eBay, like the original ones that you get as a kid. And uh, I saw one on eBay, unopened. It was like a dollar fifty yesterday, late last night. I was like, ah, oh. you know, you can't find these things for less than like 300 bucks. Just because they're impossible to find anymore. The scarcity of them in existence. So I bet $2 on it. Woke up the next day and the bets had gone up to like $180. I was like, yeah, I'm out. But it's interesting to see what uh, some of that stuff goes for. I mean, my God, the price on some of the cards. The fact that people pay it. Absolutely blows the top of my skull off. I'm just cleaning this guy's inventory out. I don't know if I've already got all the Rotoms, but... Pokemon Festival. Don't you think? Don't you know? 
Oh, sorry, Michael. I got that black stone thing for sight there in a glove. In glove? Oh, yeah, yeah. And all the normal stones for defeating um, Graveler from a stone. Oh. Yeah. Pretty much I've gotten all the evolutionary stones from just mining stones in different areas. But lucky for me, it wasn't like Heather's situation where I'm at the end of the game and like you're just desperately searching for that one thing, hoping for it to come out. Uh, instead of just playing along, mining like probably way too much throughout the game and trying to save money by just gathering the resources. And just happen to get more than I could ever use. I'd give you one, but you can't trade items in this game. There's no way for me to do that. I suppose I could just trade you uh, Cleaver straight up. Got enough items, I could just get one. But then you lose the points for evolving one. Which isn't a big deal. Unless you're trying to get the shiny charm like uh, Michael does. Oh, no. The most disrespectful character in this game shows up again. Feel that I've gotten so many of these guava berries, I don't even know what they're for. Oh, perfect timing. Goodbye. That answers the question that we've all been wondering. He was very shy and withdrawn as a child until one day when he announced he was going to work hard to help Edmund. I knew it that that was a guy. I knew it. I just needed some kind of confirmation. And this is the first time in the game they give that to you. Holy biscuits, it's telling me what's where. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go for Slagoose first. Turt twigs. And we'll cut it back and try to get something out of these Ursa rings. Bum ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum ba bum bum. Bum ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum. Let's go and get this done. So in their armor special.
Okay, they're really um, kind of angering me. All right, let's just go. Until one of you comes up shiny, you're all gonna have to get beat down on. That did not go as well as I'd hoped for a first hit. All right, let's reduce that defensive stat. You can avoid that? No! I'm scared. Dark Ray is not feeling that good sometimes. I suppose I could beat him up with grits and gravels, but... He couldn't even beat a simple goo drop. What the f- They are kind of wasting my windstorm, or rainstorm, or rainy windstorm. If I can get a shiny Turtwig, though, wouldn't that be the absolute bee's knees? The cream of the crop? The tip of the top? Tyler, thank you very much for the like. How are you doing? Ooh we gotta get this regular grottle and this alpha grottle. Cheers, by the way. Thank you, Tyler. You know, you would hope they would just submit.
Okay, two of them together. Actually pretty beefy. Tyler, have you gotten this fire yet? Do you have um, gods that you have taken over and controlled? I know that there's the easier method to catching where you just look at that. Do it with your little left and right down here in the menu, but I like going to the menu. Got a little bit more control. My eye itches. You ever have that? Sometimes, like, you start scratching it, and it only gets worse. That's not all of them? I would say the one thing I dislike about these is how far they can run if they choose. Oh, I see him. That's the key. Just get up behind them, hide. What are they going to do? I have seen that there's green Ursa rings, which would be legit. All I got to say, I'm pretty... I'm pretty much not... Uh... Impressed, we'll say, with these massive mass outbreaks. I don't even know how he threw. I didn't press the button to throw him. He shouldn't be out here. Now I've got myself in an ugly situation up against two bears. While I had him knocked out. Or at least woozy. Alright, time to hit him with the old beam of time itself. Oh, that was smart. Keep doing that. Nice. Hey, Alga. Doing big things. Doing big things. Raising your status here in my party. Landing that iron tail. Didn't think you would. Absolutely crushing it.
I should have got behind him. Shenanigans. Ah, oh, he's another try. Mike, okay, I'm back. Had to get the farm smell off. Hey, that's understandable. Nice. So how you, uh, how you doing tonight? What was supper? Did you have a steak? You know. You on a farm, you get steak, you get beef, you get all that pretty cheap, right? Well, maybe not cheap, but probably get more access to it than the average uh, person. All right, y'all saw nothing. These guys are a bunch of bullies at this point. Oh! Alright, let's just fight. Nothing normally, only eat lunch. Only eat lunch? Better be a massive lunch. How do you survive? I generally don't eat breakfast. But by the time I'm halfway to lunch, I'm starving. You know, I'd say like the last two weeks by sometimes like 8 30 in the morning i'm starving already and the probably the last like three or four months before that i wasn't hungry at all in the morning until lunch so i don't know what's changed it's not good how can you manage to eat just lunch especially with working all day Wouldn't she die? I think you would just pass out. Easy, you don't eat much to begin with. I guess. That probably helps. I haven't been good at that. Some religions only eat while the sun is up? Which ones are those? I just need to know so I can know what to not join. Half of my eating is when the sun is down. Snack time. Maybe. You know. It's pretty close to uh, Tostino's and some queso dip time right now. <laughs> I don't think atheists count for that. Yeah, I don't think uh, they play by any kind of rules like that. <laughs> I think they play by the rules of their society, and that's about it. Some don't even do that. Ooh, their treasure. In short, battle me. He thinks, he thinks he's going to win. That's cute. So, do I get to take over your clan when I win? <laughs> oh, shenanigans. So, Mike, what have you been playing? Are you, uh... Still doing some of the extraction?
I don't know what game I want to stream right now. Only have 57 games to choose from. My Xbox has a sicking amount of games I don't even want to say. Probably because I can't remember off the top of my head how many there is. Game share with somebody else. So any game they've ever bought over the last, like, 14 years. I've had at my disposal. Plus anything I got. Then Xbox, Games with Gold. So they gave out two games free a month for years. Everything on Game Pass. Which was like 110 games. And I'll tell you, I will never touch the large majority of them. Just no time. This morning you played a bit of Elden Ring? I know, I was, I was saying right at the very beginning of my stream... That once I've caught everything in this game and done all the quests and everything, I think I'm going to pick that up and stream that. I'll be a little late to the party at the stream on that one. Like, that's just how it happens for me most of the time. I finish the game I'm playing so I don't necessarily get on games right when they first release. So, by the time I get there... Everyone who's watching is super good at the games. Everyone knows what's going to happen, and then I'm the one guy in the dark. I've only seen little clips of it on um, YouTube, on uh, YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels on Facebook. So I only have ideas of what not to do. I know, for instance, you could go up and think you're about to slay something and a dragon will come from off of your camera straight through and slide in the ground and probably kill you. I saw these four big things carrying some kind of a chariot or something. A guy came up and smacked it in the ankle and then it just stomped him out and killed him instantly. I've seen a few things. I just know... And you know, I would have known that attacking that giant Cyclops thing was probably a dumb idea. The dragon coming out of the sky, don't feel like I'd see that coming either way. So I don't feel like I, much has changed. Not very far in to begin with. And neither will you. <laughs> I haven't even uh, killed a single boss yet. I have two characters at level 33 and 32. That feels like a really high level, especially for not having killed the boss yet. Have you not killed the boss yet because you haven't tried? Or is the first one just really, really tough? Razor Fang, that's what that one's called. Not sure what the highest level is, but I do know at least up to 90. Oh. I haven't played one of those since Dark Souls 2? I don't know if I played 3 all the way through. I think I did, actually. I think I played through Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 all the way. Um, but I think I did them all only once. They're really interesting games, but uh, like story-wise. But I do like the art style and all that. I do like the difficulty. There's a point where you absolutely just own everything in there. Like once you know exactly what to do, it's a matter of just clicking your buttons right.
timing your dodge rolls. But I like to explore in those games, and this seems like this is the most exploring you can do. I always tried to find the hidden stuff, uh, and there was a lot of hidden stuff. I probably didn't even scratch the surface. Um, so yeah. I'm interested in playing it. I wasn't too much at first, but now I am. I was getting frustrated trying to find the black augurite. I mean, I could probably... If you want, trade you. One of those guys, if you want. I certainly am not going to use all my augurites, and it wouldn't be hard for me to catch a alpha or a regular sci uh, scyther. As long as you're popping in, dropping a like, chit-chatting, I would gladly do that. If you'd like. Yeah? Let me see. Alpha or regular? Probably alpha, right? You play Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 through 3, Bloodborne, can't remember the other one, and Elden Ring. Yeah, there was another one that was just like it. I can't remember what it was. Alpha would be nice. All right. That I can try to arrange here. Only boys. Sneaked up on a graveler, and maybe you'll have one. Time will tell. Uh oh. Which of those was your favorite, Mike? Sounds like you're a fan of the series. Sekiro, that's right. I was like. I knew that it was really popular, and it was kind of driving me nuts that I couldn't think of it either. Crafting material? That's unfortunate. I had to look what ones you had on disc. Nice. You buy your games on disc mostly? I haven't bought a disc since Xbox 360. And there was a certain point on Xbox 360 I stopped buying discs wholly. Um, 99,000 till next rank. Nice, nice. Getting closer. I'm surprised you're not at the top rank when you already have so many.
It's kind of, sort of. Some you do, some you don't. Uh, I just, I'll never buy discs again. I've never had a disc since I was a little kid. Maybe like PS1 games. Maybe there's some discs that maybe I didn't take care of as well as I wish I did. And don't all necessarily work. But, uh, oh, is she taking me here to do this thing right now? Twelve on disc. I just decided uh, against it. Find disc because you can't scratch or break a disc. Like I said, I don't generally do that. It's not something that you generally have a problem with with me. But like somebody else could always accidentally step on one somehow that you're using as a coaster. Let's say, um, and for some reasons, sometimes they don't work at all. So my buddy has got a PlayStation Five. A couple weekends ago, we were hanging out. Uh, he brought his PS Five, and we were trying to play the new Call of Duty on it. Trying to play some zombies. He had never even used it before. The disc was perfect, no scratch, nothing. And it wouldn't start. It's just because it wouldn't read the disc. Like, we looked it up, we tried everything. If. He had just bought it digitally, it would have been fine. But I think uh, a lot of people are just used to um, discs over all the years. And I think people are scared that, like, they lost their account or something. You might... Um... Lose all your games, but, like... The chances of that are so low. It's more likely that, for some odd reason, your disc would break or the console wouldn't read the disc than uh, something were to happen to your digital stuff. So I've just, I've never taken the time to do it. Plus then you gotta go out of your way to go to a store to pick one up or have it shipped to you. But if you just buy it, then it just takes the time to download it, which it has to download anyway. So it's actually just wholly better to buy the, um, digital version. Like, I, I think I have cartridges for my Switch for my first two games I got. Uh, just because that's how the bundle deal went. So Mario Kart, which always stays in my Switch. I have that one. And Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Everything else, I just bought the even smaller than a cartridge. Um, Heather, you ready? The code is going to be 4422668. Um, but the internal storage, I don't know what I said the first time, but it's four 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 two two six six eight eight. Um, yeah, the internal storage for like, I don't know what it is, 500 gigabytes or something insane is significantly better than the size of one cartridge. I don't even get it. Doesn't make sense. You got Avengers Dying Light. COD Vanguard, COD WW2, NBA 2K20, Division 2, Resident Evil 5, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Black Ops 3, Rogue Trooper, Sekiro, and Dark Souls. Heather, you out there? Try that again. Oh, there you are. Nice. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure. Is that a shiny dust ox? 
Is that a regular one? I kind of can't tell. But I think the wings are normally green, right? This Pokédex is pretty easy to finish up. It's just got a couple moves. Whoa. Regular Pokéball coming in. It is shiny. Whoa. Oh, all right. Thank you very much. That's awesome. That's a trade. I'll take that. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I appreciate doing business with you. Gonna go to that mass outbreak. We'll call it after that. Let's see this guy first. Oh, jeez. That's awesome. You have two of them? Nice. Lucky me, then. It's funny how you can get uh, two shinies. Like I got two Lux Rays randomly. Yeah, you make sense. I think they normally have a green body, and the shiny is the pinkish purple. Let me see. Oh, you're my guy right here. Let's compare and contrast. Yeah, pink versus purple on the body, and brown versus green on the wings slightly lighter pink legs and ten is the same and the rings on the wings are the same it looks like nice add them to my collection the collection is growing honestly i'm getting closer to wanting to just evolve this magic card i want a red gyarados so bad Probably got to talk to them again to start it up. Oh, dissipated just because I left? I guess I shouldn't have left. Well, that's all right. How could I know? Hmm. So, Mike, did you like Sekiro? I never played that one. Oh, well, I looked at it a lot. kind of wanted to. I think I tried it, actually. I tried the very beginning uh, on the weekend. I was at a buddy's. We had a couple drinks. He passed out. And then me and the other buddy of mine that were up said, fuck it, let's try to play it. Actually, no, I had it. I had it because the guy at Game Show bought it. And, uh, we tried playing it at, like, midnight after having so many drinks, and it was horrible. Horrible, but also kind of funny. Now, let's do the outbreak first. I also for sure did not dismount the first time. I don't know what happened. It's been a while. I'm out of the loop on all the newer Pokemons. That's how I feel, Mike. It's a straight pain in the ass. Yeah, it looks like it. I uh, definitely am out of the loop as well on a lot of them. I'm only kind of getting some of them because of playing Sword and this game. But, like, there's for sure some of these generations that are not included. Are you all trying to fight tonight? I will glob you all. 
It sounds worse than it is, trust me. Where's your shiny? Bring him to me. Well, there they are. You can't get the Kanto starters? Not in this one, unfortunately. Or at least, I don't think so. I would highly doubt it at this point, for sure. Um, what'd you say? But it was really nice that you could get him in uh, sort of shield. I thought that was really cool. Ugh. Hopefully the new ones, Violet and uh, Scarlet, include the feature that's in this game of evolving them when you choose to not just automatically when you reach that level or do whatever is required you haven't played hardly any of the new games started sword i think on my older brother switch nice um sword seemed like a lot at first i got into it a little bit i think I took like a break for a week. I, it was probably streaming a different game when I played it. It was just like a weekend game for me at the time. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I played and then that's why I restarted. If I remember, I, started, I was saying I started out with Grookey and then I moved to um, Cinder Bunny or whatever. Because uh, I started, I didn't really know what I was doing. I felt like I had a bad start, restarted. Which turned out to not be a great decision because there's so much dialogue in the beginning and it's just unskippable in the worst way like you can spam a all you want but it's still gonna take forever isn't there some item that I was gonna be able to use to transform him yeah whatever you have every Pokemon game for the switch dang I don't have all of them, but I got a few. I picked up the dungeon game. But I don't even know why I did that, because I never even liked the originals. I thought of them as um, very tedious and kind of boring. Thought I'd try it again, even though I hadn't played it in years. I was like, oh, maybe this one's a little different. Not really. So much tutorial, and I can't stand it. Throw me in there, and then let me complain later that I wasn't explained the rules. Mike, okay, I'm back. Hell, anything you said about my comment, I didn't hear. Uh, I just said it was nice, and then I started talking about how I started it, and I quit, and I came back and restarted it. Ah, they're key items. What's the difference in the forms? Just the look? Oh. That 
That's interesting. Probably their stats change somewhat, but I don't know. That's pretty gnarly. He has Sword, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Home, and Arceus. I don't even know what some of those are. I do you know that there's a few um, other ones that seemed popular out there, or at least exist. I don't know, Pokemon's been cranking games out lately. Which I'm not upset about. I'm perfectly fine with them doing that. Me neither. Fair enough. You know of them, you don't know what they are. Nice, nice, nice. Checking them out now. Well, home and unite. Yeah, you gotta tell me what those are. I thought it was later than it was. Five minutes till nine, but still. No side quest there, 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 there. Left. Five to ten, liar. Five to ten, somewhere in there, some amount of time left. An undisclosed amount. Hmm. Holy biscuits. So, so what's different about you guys? You're both centaurs? Even though this one was already four-legged before? Five minutes to 10 p.m. for me. Oh, five to 10. I got gotcha. you. Well... Does that mean it's uh, bedtime for you soon? How much sleep do you get, Mike? Do you sleep a lot? I feel like uh, in your profession, I would get almost no sleep. I already get next to no sleep, so. Playing for 120 hours and 13 minutes. Holy biscuits. I'm not even at 100 hours yet. Alright, Dialga can stay that way, but I'm going to change Palkia back. Bust it. Alright. Yes, most illuminating. Another cat destroyed. Four hours, maybe, if I'm lucky. <laughs> I got probably around five hours of sleep last night, and I thought I was going to die all day. Ah, I was so tired. I had a hard time keeping my head up, trying to really focus on my work, 
and make sure that what I was doing was correct and accurate on everything. It was brutal. Then I don't know if it's because I thought, well, it's supposed to be 50 degrees today, so I don't need to wear as warm a clothes, or if it's because I was so tired or what, but I had like terrible chills throughout the day. I was wearing my winter coat in my office. Um, just a general feeling of being sick from just the lack of sleep. So if I had four hours, if I was lucky, a day, I might get used to it, but I'll probably feel terrible. Me there. Zero, 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 zero. Look at that. Mike, you're, you're on your way to catching us. Your time's not bad. It's incredible how much time you got to put into this. Did I already save? I already saved, didn't I? Uh, if you want to catch them all. I got a ways to go here. So what am I missing? 17? Two, three, four, five, six. Did I see something here? No. Yep, got to finish shield on. Seven. And all these guys, they're all pretty much in the legendaries category here. Unless there's something else after Lucario, but I feel like uh, the three river guys or lake guys are going to be right here, or they're right here. So I won't know until I catch one. So that'll be interesting. That will be interesting. And then there's two more after Dark Ray, actually. So it goes to 244. So we just got a bunch of legendary hunting to do at this point. This might be all week. It'll be interesting. I have a Rowlet if you need one, and an Ashwal. Ashwal. Well, thank you. Um, I believe I'll be able to catch them on my own at some point. I haven't looked into it, and I'm kind of leaving it as a surprise yet for me. So I'm not going to look into it yet. But uh, if I get to the end, and I don't know what to do or how to get one, son of a... But um, I would take you up on that offer. But for now, I'll wait. And I will hopefully get one on my own. So, all right. I'm going to call it an uh, end to the night. It was a good night. It was a lot of fun. Um, thank you, everybody, for showing up, supporting how you did. Let's do some shout-outs for you people quick. Thank you. Um, no pain, no game for the follow over the weekend. Thank you, Austin Wheels. Bode Zenta for the follow as well. We're up to uh, 246 out of 250 for the goal. So hey, not bad. We're uh, we're killing it. Oh, Mike, sorry, I missed these. Okay, so Pokemon Home is like the Pokedex for all of the Pokemon games. Oh my god. You played, I'm missing them all. Well, Mike, you just gotta start with one, and from there you'll you'll keep killing it and keep getting them all. Pokemon, Pokedex for all the games, that's wild. There's websites for that. I just use those. <laughs> Thank you, Michael, for the like. Uncanny for the like. Kayla for the like. Sam for the like. And share. Marcus for the share. Oscar for the share. Levon for the like. Mike, appreciate you. Thank you for the 145 stars and the like. Thanks for chatting along as well. Uh, Alexis, thank you for the like. Tyler, thank you for the like. Um, thank you, Heather, for chatting along. If you feel like it, Heather, uh, please drop a like as well. Uh, Mike and Michael. Not to confuse you both. Thank you guys both for uh, chatting along. Oscar for chatting along. Pitsy for chatting along. Alexis, thank you for chatting along. Let's see if I'm missing anybody. That's about everybody. Looks like Pokemon Unite is like Street Fighter. I think I've seen that one. It was like a interesting Pokemon stadium. I don't know. I was like, if I haven't really heard about it, it can't be that good. You know what I mean? When... When there's not a lot of marketing slash a lot of streamers doing it, maybe there is. I just haven't looked into it. And uh, how good can it be? I don't know. But I'm not going to find out. 
Uh, so the question of the night, for those of you watching after the stream, you'll be able to see the answers in there in the poll uh, or on YouTube. Feel free to answer uh, in the comments if you think you know. If you don't, guess. <clears throat> what type of rock is formed by consolidation of molten magma? Is it igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic, or metabolic types of rock? Um, so the percentages tonight for what people had answered, trying to get it correctly, um, was 0% for metabolic, correct, it is not metabolic, 14% uh, voted for sedimentary, that is incorrect, and we got a 43-43% split here on igneous and metamorphic. Well, metamorphic is not the right answer it is in fact igneous so congratulations to those of you got it correct and those of you got it correct over there on youtube congratulations mike i'll find out for uh for you let you know whether or not it's a good game hell yeah well you said your brother's got it so you just gotta play it a little and go and figure it out and go oh well it's all right or eh, it's not so good i could probably just youtube it but uh, I don't. I don't know if I got time to play that. With jumping over to uh, um, Elden Ring, probably next. Kayla, thank you for the hundred stars. Hell yeah! Cheers. Appreciate you. I'm surprised that didn't pop up here on the screen. Maybe it still will. I don't know. It was interesting. Anyway, thank you again, Kayla, for the hundred stars. Appreciate you. Thank you, Mike, for the hundred forty-five stars. Mike, you have the switch right now. There it is. I do this every time. It's a mirror and I forget that. Well, if you got it right now, I guess you can figure it out pretty quick. But anyway, that's all for me for tonight. Uh, it was a great night. I'll see you guys all on tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time per the usual. Michael, give me that update tomorrow. Let me know how good the game is. Until then, stay fresh, cheese bags. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>